Japan is a country actively embracing robotics. The government discourages immigration, while the population ages and birth rates decline. Nevertheless, there is a need for someone to work. In almost any other country in the world, interacting with a robot typically requires attending a high-tech exhibition. In contrast, in Japan, encountering a robot in a shopping center or a bank is not uncommon. If we look at all Japanese developments in robotics, it becomes apparent that robots can accompany a person from birth to death. Thanks to advancements in neural networks, artificial intelligence, and the creation of hyper-realistic humanoids, robots have become virtually indistinguishable from humans. In the future, they are expected to replace us in many aspects of life. This is not a myth, but our shared reality. Today we will tell you about the most realistic Japanese humanoid robots that are impossible to distinguish from humans. Let's get started. Meet Asuna, a hyper-realistic robot that looks like a human. The robot was first unveiled in 2015 during the Festival of Wonders. According to the creator's legend, she is a 15-year-old girl born in Tokyo, standing at 1.55 meters tall and weighing 43 kilograms. Developers made significant efforts to replicate the appearance and movements of a human. The material used for Asuna's skin is almost indistinguishable from human skin to the touch. Asuna can blink, nod, close her eyes, chew, and display various facial expressions. Japanese robot dolls have long been known for their realism, but Asuna's uniqueness lies in the special naturalness of her movements. When she closes her eyes and opens her mouth, it gives the impression that she is about to yawn like a living person. During the robot's presentation, one of the event correspondents approached the A-Lab company's showcase and mistook Asuna for a real person. This girl behaves very strangely, the journalist said. Upon closer inspection, she was surprised to realize that the girl was actually an android. Many people attending the exhibition were also stunned to learn that Asuna is a hyper-realistic robot. Working at the reception requires real endurance. You have to answer the same questions and perform routine tasks, such as registering guests while maintaining friendliness. Robots like Receproid from the Japanese company Kiyoe Sangyo can replace humans in this challenging task. What sets them apart from humans is not only their tirelessness and stress resistance, but also their language proficiency thanks to integrated artificial intelligence. Receproid can understand and communicate in practically all languages worldwide. For now, Receproid cannot walk, perform acrobatic tricks, or boast active mobility. However, in essence, the receptionist's job does not require these capabilities. The robot is sold in a sitting position, capable of leaning, turning its head, nodding forward and backward, and opening and closing its mouth and eyelids. In Japan, such robots are already actively used. For instance, in the city of Nagasaki, there is a hotel where the main staff consists of robots. They greet guests, carry their luggage, and take orders for room service. Actroid Sit is a realistically looking robot developed by the Japanese company Kokoro. The robot can operate autonomously, speak, gesture, and interact with people. With the advancement of neural networks and artificial intelligence, developers have introduced enhanced robot control systems, making Actroid Sit appear even smarter. Its behavior now exhibits distinct social traits, bringing it closer to human interaction. When interacting with people, the robot maintains constant visual contact, tracking all movements and gestures of the person trying to communicate with it. This enables Actroid Sit to timely apply one or several embedded behavioral rules, developed by a group of researchers from the NARA Institute of Science and Technology, depending on the situation. This realistic girl version of the robot can engage with a large number of people. It can maintain eye contact, communicate with the interlocutor through speech and gestures. When necessary, Actroid Sit will interrupt a program narrative and quickly respond to a new question. While Actroid Sit does not possess an advanced intellect that would allow it to engage in casual conversations on various topics, researchers note that the enhancements made play a significant role in making the robot more versatile. Humanoid and industrial robots are increasingly displacing humans from their workplaces. The latest evidence of this trend is the emergence of a new Japanese marvel, the astonishingly realistic android named Kodamoroid. This robot is capable of serving as the news program anchor, delivering real-time news impeccably in fluent Japanese. It is worth noting that Kodamoroid's broadcasting abilities far exceed the requirements for human anchors working on Japanese television. However, Kodamoroid won't immediately become the host of a news program on a Japanese TV channel. Initially, this robot will work at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Tokyo. Soon, the Kodamoroid robot will be joined by another realistic robot, Otonoroid, which will already look like an adult. Kodomoroid and Odonoroid are creations of Japanese professor Hiroshi Ishiguro from Osaka University, renowned for his numerous works in the field of creating lifelike robots. 
creating a video about Japanese humanoid robots, it is impossible not to mention Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro from Osaka University, who gained widespread recognition in the field of robotics for his creations, including the photorealistic androids of the Geminoid series, Kotomoroid, Otonoroid, and others. Each of Professor Ishiguro's creations becomes increasingly realistic and acquires additional abilities, enhancing their resemblance to living humans. In 2010, he introduced Geminoid to the world, a copy of himself. Using silicone rubber, pneumatic actuators, powerful electronics, and his own hair, the robot closely resembles the professor. A large head, wrinkled brows, and piercing eyes. Professor Ishiguro remotely controls his robot using a microphone, and the robot can reproduce Ishiguro's intonations, tilt its head, and even blink. However, the professor gained the most fame for his latest work, a robot named Erika, which can undoubtedly be described as hyper-realistic. When creating Erika, Professor Ishiguro's team not only provided the robot with new eyes, ears, and more realistic body parts, but also significantly improved its speech and equipped it with an additional communication capability described as body language. The creation of the new robot was a collaborative effort involving Japan Science and Technology Agency, Osaka and Kyoto Universities, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute international. Despite the considerable efforts invested by robotic engineers, Erika exhibits a subtle degree of stiffness in comparison to living humans. However, despite this, the robot is capable of participating in spontaneous conversations and expressing laughter. Notably, Erika has recently secured a position as a television news anchor. This is Geminoid F, another of the most realistic female robots created by the professor. This gynoid, designed to be a simplified and lighter version of Ishiguro's earlier android Geminoid HI, has the appearance of a young Japanese girl with the goal of evoking greater sympathy from people. This android features remote autonomous control, capable of serving as a telepresence device operated by a human or interacting with people independently under the control of artificial intelligence. The robot has a metal skeleton with a plastic skull, covered with polyurethane foam and realistic silicone skin. To replicate facial expressions, Geminoid F is equipped with 12 facial pneumatic actuators. Additionally, the device can perform certain movements with its hands and body. Geminoid F is primarily a research project aimed at studying the psychological aspects of interaction between humans and machines. However, this didn't prevent it from becoming the first robot to act in both theater and film, specifically in the post-apocalyptic play Sayonara and the film inspired by it. In these productions, the android was operated remotely by an operator. Ishiguro is confident that the application of Geminoid F is unlimited. For instance, a female robot could be used as a mannequin or in the service industry. We cannot predict how people will use robots. We provide the technology, but we do not control its application, says the professor. But can a robot become a close friend? Ishiguro believes it can. According to him, with the right technology, humanoid robots can be taught to think and experience human emotions. The professor is also convinced that there will inevitably come a day when humanity cannot immediately distinguish a real person from a robot. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you next time.